Hello YouTube viewer. I made this video just for you, so I hope you like it, and I hope you get some popcorn, sit down, get comfortable, and check out my short film on this bike that I'm about to present to you. Start film now. I am Johnny Nerdout. I am a custom e-bike builder, and uh, did you guys just see something fly around by me? I think I'm freaking out. I think the pills are starting to kick in. <laughs> Okay, we got a custom e-bike build here. I'm Johnny Nerdout, I build bikes, I custom build, I take bikes that are not e-bikes and I make them an e-bike builder. I, I add ease to bikes. Um, so I'm gonna go over what this bike is, what I did to it, and what makes this thing awesome. I'm gonna do a performance test where I see how fast I can make it go, how this thing climbs hills, so on and so forth. Okay, so this is the Felt Verza. It's a 10 speed. I think it's just called the Felt Verza. This is a road bike. It's got 700C by 32 inch tires, I think. So this thing is a speed bike. This thing is fast. This is like when you're training and you wanna just, you wanna cycle. I mean, you could probably do 30 miles an hour on this without a motor. So now that you've added a motor, you could probably hit 40 miles an hour and sustain 40 miles an hour, which is crazy fast, borderline dangerous. So if you're a speed freak, dangerous, maniacal person who just doesn't care about safety for yourself or whatever, you just wanna hit top speeds, you could build something like this. Or you could just use the pedal assist on a low setting and this will help you get up to your training speed and you can maintain your training speed at like, you know, 25, 30 miles an hour and just have this motor just help you get up to that speed and then you maintain it from there. This motor does add, I would say 5% resistance by just having, you know, this weight and having those gears in there, mechanisms. It does add a little bit of resistance, but it's not a lot. I get asked that question a lot, but mainly you're not really fighting this motor a lot. There's a free wheel in there that adds a little tiny bit of resistance. Okay, so let's get right into this. We added a Bafang BVSO2 motor. It's a 750 watt motor. Puts out about 1300 watts peak if you ask it to. This is a 52 volt battery, 17 amp hour. So this is gonna give this bike probably between a 30 and 80 mile range. Really depends on how you ride this thing. And there's such a, a varying range because the speed that this thing is able to hit. This thing will easily hit 40 miles an hour. With you pedaling it, the right condition, this will hit 40 miles an hour. If you're looking for a bike that could, if you gotta travel long distances and you don't have much traffic at all and you need to just hit blazing fast speeds, check out a bike like this. Obviously, be very safe. I don't want people getting on bikes like this and saying that I sent them to get this and then they're causing accidents or getting themselves hurt because that's bad for the e-bike industry and that's bad for me. So I'm being, for selfish reasons, I want you to be safe. It's a mid-drive, so we put a gear shift sensor on it. It just acts like an automatic clutch. It cuts power for a second when you're shifting gears and then puts power on it. Uh, we put a 52 tooth Lecky chain ring on this. So that's, it's, it's a huge chain ring. So when you're in your lowest gear, you're able to pedal at like 35 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour even, and still have a, a good cadence. The opposite would be true if you went with like a 28 tooth or a 36, you'd be spinning out at like 20 miles an hour, but your low end would just be crazy. You'd be able to climb any hill you wanted. Uh, we went with the 500C color display. I really like this display, it's my favorite. If you don't need a USB out, next to it we got a throttle. So you could do throttle or pedal assist. You could be pedaling and then hit the throttle and take off if you wanted. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. We just added hydraulic disc brake sensors on it. Just super glued them on there. This is a really nice bike. It's still a super lightweight probably weighs like 30, 35 pounds, somewhere around there. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test and see what kind of top speed this thing hits and how it does on a hill climb from a standstill, um, all without me pedaling. So you can see 38 miles an hour, and this thing, I could probably hit 40 miles an hour without much problem, without pedaling, if I had another half a mile of runway to go. But I only go about, I give myself about four blocks to go, maybe three or four blocks, so it's not a huge amount of space, but I hit 38 miles an hour on this, so easily 40 miles an hour plus is not out of the question. So you really gotta be safe, you gotta really be responsible. Hill climbing, yeah, you can see this thing. I racked myself for you guys to do this test because this seat was too high and I didn't bring my four millimeter to 
put it down. This thing still hill climb like no problem. And I think this is like a, this is probably like a 28 tooth or 32 low gear, low speed. So it's not crazy, not a crazy low, low gear. And it still got up there, no problem. This build was about 1250, I think, 1250 with, you know, with this chain rings about 110 bucks or so. So obviously without that, it'd be a little bit cheaper. If you wanted to build something like this yourself, you could find, you know, obviously cheaper alternatives in this and get yourself a fast, fast bike for not a lot of money. This is uh, obviously you could see the seat is way over this. So you're going to be a very aggressive style riding that gives you power to like push off of the handlebars and really kind of crank down. It's, a, it's an aggressive style, but it's, it's more efficient to really use your body in, co in unison with this bike. But it does put a lot more strain on it. So if you're looking for a comfortable bike, this is not it. But if you're looking for a workhorse, a trainer bike, something that you could just go fast on and really get that heart rate going, this is the style bike you want to get. All right, hopefully you guys found this helpful. See you next time.